Butterfly gonna recap this and say, God, he caught a 30 on the dime, bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire to fly. We just don't rock them. You already know what it is, man. No, no big intro needed. Let's just get right into what we need to get into. Salute to the subscribers, first of all. You know, without you guys. We are nothing. Salute to my guy Showtime SP. We got a couple more joints that we did that will be dropping. You know, we've produced some some pretty good content, I must say. Um, salute to him for being back in the fold, getting to what we get to. But uh, I hadn't got to talk to y'all this week yet in the car. You know what I'm saying? It's in the car. That's why I did this. Reed, you knew I was. It's in the car. Salute to you and everything that you got going on. I seen your announcement dropped versus Sue Surf. But you had said it. I mean, not I'm Sue Surf, Rum Nitty. Your announcement versus Rum Nitty had dropped, and um, you know you had said something on the on the IG live not too long ago, which is the reason why a lot of people already knew. But it's all good. So you're gonna have people that's gonna say this: Why is Reed getting booked versus anyone or Rum Nitty or whatever the case may be? Now, when you look at things from a legend's perspective, Reed Dollars is a legend. He was doing millions of views before we even knew what millions of views was on YouTube, you know? He will bring a fight. That's the one thing, like, you could say what you want as far as an artist goes, but heart cannot be measured. Fight and what he's going to bring, those intangibles are always there. And every battle that Reed's had, he's fought. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, okay, y'all might want to do the John John, but that was the first time he even came around the corner. But since then, he's fought. He's either fought or won his battles. Won, fought, debated, or you can't really feel too mad about. Now, him versus Rex, he killed Rex. Him versus Chess, he had a fire battle with Chess back in the, you know what I'm saying, a couple years ago. A lot of people had him winning against Chess. If not, they made it debatable. That's when Reed, that's when Chess used to have them Chess rounds. Remember them Chess rounds? Where he would let the tech blow, you sit down. You know, like he was doing when he was wilding before he was doing the other shit. Like, y'all remember what chess rounds used to be. You know what I'm saying? If you need to go back and watch chess versus Saga or chess versus Reed, he used to have like nine minute rounds. They was called chess rounds, I promise you. Let me take you down this road. Like, chess used to have chess rounds, is what we called them. So what's happening now? If he comes with three chess rounds, the old school joints for his shine? Nigga, what? But let's stay on track. So, um, Reed Dollars made a statement yesterday after his announcement got released saying he just got out the ring with Surf and they said he was gonna die there. And he's saying this nitty material that I'm preparing is eight gorillas, gorillas, gorillas. I'm one of the only legends still taking all of them hitters you know what i'm saying and i do respect that he's he is the he is a legend that's coming outside with no excuses and ready to fight you know now pat stay jumped in them same comments and let him know that uh he takes this stuff really serious sue surf doesn't but good luck you know what i'm saying he's basically like yo don't get it twisted and think that Battling Sue Surf is a representation of the competition level that you're going to get in this era. Sue Surf plays the game on pro. Pro, like the pro level. Uh, Rum Nitty plays it on Hall of Fame. So you need to be prepared in, in that regard. And, you know, you, you better be prepared because Rum Nitty, he's not going to take no plays off. Like, it don't matter who it is. Rum Nitty will battle when he battles people. If he's focused and giving you that potent material, you, you, you gonna get it though. He ain't gonna play against you. Like he might, he might toy around in some of them little battles against people he don't really care about that he's just showing up for a bag. Like he battled against Saga and never took his gloves off. Like literally battled him with a coat and gloves on. Leave the car running. Like leave the car running. I'm just gonna show up. I'm just gonna spit my little rounds and I'm going. Like don't even park the car in valet. Park it in the street. And leave it running. He left somebody in the car waiting for him to come out. Like that. He's not he he's he gonna play with those type of battles. But you, Reed, you, you, he's not gonna play with you. 
you're a legend. You get you get the views. You get the views whether in the battle, you get the views in the recaps, you get the views in general. He's not gonna play. I'm telling you right now, he's not gonna play with you. You're gonna get uh, uh, epic performance. And going into it, a lot of people have you losing. Like uh, that is it is what it is. And it's not because it's you. Like there's other people that you could have battled that I probably would have gave you the win against. But in this scenario, Rum Nitty. It's very, it's very few battles that I'm picking against Rum Nitty. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's very few battles going into it that I'm gonna pick against him because it's just what he's able to do. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as with them punches and with that performance, it's very, very, especially in them small rooms. Who? Not many people are picking against uh, uh, Rum Nitty. I'm sorry, that's just not gonna happen. Um, but with Reed, you gotta, you got to give him props for the confidence and the, for the fact that he's even willing to come outside. Outside, outside, outside. What was that? What was that? What was that? I ain't joking. I ain't joking. I ain't joking. I ain't joking. So, yeah, I was saying that uh, you are outside, so you do get props for that. But in regards to Reed Dollars, uh, you're going to have to bring it. Now, what I did say in one of my last joints before your Sue Surf battle, I felt that you needed to get a little bit more with the times. And I will say in your second round, and some of your material versus Surf, you, you definitely got with the times. He was way more updated. Uh, everybody, one of the lines that a lot of people remember from the back. I think, well, I'm not being biased, but I could be biased in regards to the line. But the Area 51, that was real relevant. And with the times, it's in my intro. It's in my intro, motherfucker. It's in my intro. Uh, I like that. I'm, I, you know what? I was just watching you versus Sue Surf the other day. You know what I'm saying? And I like the half moon over the wave that the like come on you you come with that type of energy and bringing consistent line after line with bars this is kind of a punch error though you know what i'm saying and the thing is it's a punch error but you're battling the best puncher in the game like the what people love the most a lot of people is punch lines and you're battling against the best one in the world. Like, Rum Nitty is the best puncher in the world. We're not going to do that. I don't want to hear about no conceited. I don't want to hear about no B-Magic. It's Rum Nitty right now. It is Rum Nitty. Uh, Magic did his thing in the past. He's got battles or whatever the case may be. He's got a rookies versus vets coming up. I heard it's against a female, uh, Coffee Brown. So, yeah, like, they're not treating Magic like that right now. He's battling against a female. Uh, I mean, I guess that's cool, but... At this point in your career, there's no way in hell. Magic, if he was like he was supposed to be, he'd be on Summer Madness. But that's a whole nother blog starring whole different people. But read, read, read. I definitely like what you're doing. I also seen that they got Shotgun Shook versus Young Cannon coming up and like Drugs versus Mr. Wavy. Shotgun Shook versus Young Cannon. I'm like, Shotgun Shook just battled like two weeks ago and he didn't do well against Jaden Nightwing. And to bring him back so fast. I know caffeine on these niggas' helmet. Like, yo, we need battles every week. We don't care what y'all got going on. But y'all got to... I, I said it in other blogs. They got to get other artists that ain't got nothing going on that we ain't seen, like, that could be prepared. But Shotgun... Young Cannon, Shotgun Shook, I guess, like... I don't... I don't... Who asked for this? Who asked for this? But... We'll see, you know, Shotgun Shook been doing good with himself. He's been losing weight, you know what I mean? So hopefully it'll bring a more focused performance. And a Young Cannon is Young Cannon. We know what we're going to get as far as with a Young Cannon. 2-1 uh, either way. And uh, Wavy versus Dr Moving on. Um, so, yeah, Reed Dollars. I was like, um, I like everything that you bring. Uh, I like your energy in 2020. Uh, the fact that you coming outside is to fight against vets is another dope thing. And uh, we're going to see where it goes and how it goes. But I feel like um, you definitely need to realize that Sue Surf, I mean, was not a battle that is a measuring stick of how you should do against the new era. Because Sue Surf don't be, he be playing around and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he he's a good talker. He has decent battles at times. And then he has other battles that are head scratches. But he's always going to get booked because of his name. So... While I fuck with his music and I fuck with his movement and I, you know what I'm saying, as far as like with his professional side, outside of battle rap, I'm talking about like the music side and all of that. When it comes to him in battle rap, you know what you're going to get. We just seen him versus Loaded Lux. You know, you, you know, you know what you're getting into. 
But when it comes to Rum Nitty, it's the total opposite. Those dollar flips, you think you heard some dollar flips before? Oh my God. You gonna hear some dollar flips. <laughs> you gonna hear some dollar flips, man. But I respect the bravery, I, I respect your ambition. If you beat a Rum Nitty, you're gonna silence a lot of critics. And I'm not really too much trying to criticize you. I'd have it. I'm just saying that you need to be relevant and with the time versus somebody with the power of a Rum Nitty. Uh, as far as like summer madness goes, uh, I, I'm looking at it now like URL kind of kind of understands that they don't got no stage, they don't got no big. It's not gonna be a big summer madness. Uh, we're not seeing Chess versus K Shine. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people were saying that you know what is Shine doing battling against him, but we'll see where that goes. And now you got Rum Nitty versus Reed. I'm pretty sure Verb versus Geet, not Verb versus. Geet. Verb versus Calico, them niggas been going back and forth all year, and I've been hearing, I've been hearing from what I've been hearing is that they're gonna battle too. That should be good. We'll see where it goes. But other than that, I watched uh, Oklahoma City versus the Rockets last night. Uh, Oklahoma City lost by two. What I will say is this: the Rockets are gonna need some help because you shouldn't be losing to a team that's as undermanned as Oklahoma City. In a game seven, you shouldn't be two point game. LeBron and AD is not about to play with you, and the Rockets don't got nobody in uniform that's going to be able to even slow Anthony Davis down or be able to contain LeBron. They're going to go crazy on them. Like they're really going to go crazy. I got the Lakers in five, the most six, if their shots are falling. If they're missing a bunch of shots and Danny Green is playing for the Spurs still. Or Danny Green starts playing for the fucking Rockets, missing everything. It could go six, but the the, the 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 Lakers have rest. The Lakers got a way bigger front line. The Rockets' biggest person is like Robert Covington. What the hell? When y'all get rid of Capella? What he do? What he do? They ain't got no front line, and Russell Westbrook will find a way to shoot him out of the game. So uh, other than that. You already know what it do and what it does, so you ain't got to ask what it was. I definitely wanted to drop in and drop that nugget on you. You know, Reed is, uh, you know, saying that he battles surf and he's right back outside. He's a vet. I definitely get respect. I give respect for the vets, but I feel like Pat Stay, Sue Surf doesn't take this shit serious. Reed take, um, Rum Nitty takes it very serious. You dig? Y'all stay up for the layup. Gone.